Hi, it's Pekka from Gokkuve and welcome to Megamax new cabin. This is now now a little bigger. I can do like this or this and I still fit inside. This is now my fourth cabin actually, which I have designed. Cabins are not so simple to make. But I think this time I have something nice coming around. Let's go outside and check. We have our new hood also over here. It looks good. I'm actually happy about these shapes. So you can notice that it, it's not as simple as previous ones. It looks good. Uh, and it will look better after painting and also some stickers or decals. It will look good. Uh, making prototypes always takes insane amount of the time. So like this, this should be just, uh, okay, this will be anyway be five components. But this time, this like the main component, it wasn't perfect, so I had to cut everything open, weld, so I have it today, more or less just welding this hood. A lot of hours. If I would make this kind of like machines that just manufacture one, the price would be too high and nobody would be able to purchase those. But my idea is to make several units, so then price per prototype is also pretty reasonable, so no worries about that. Megamax is pretty tall machine. The reason is that I didn't want to have flat floor in the cabin. It's nicer to operate when you have flat floor. And bookies want to make this kind of, so going over the stumps and the rocks, bookies go like this. So we need to have also floor for the bookies. You might also notice that this in the hood, we have this kind of area over here. So it was, designing of this hood, it, was, it wasn't so simple task. I think it looks good at the moment. And it will look even better after painting. Even she's tall, she can still fit inside container. So you can drive her inside 20 foot container, then she can go to USA, Canada, Australia, and all of those locations which are literally like overseas, where the containers are the most reasonable way to deliver stuff. So she will fit there. She's just made for that. Cabin's interface is toward backward. I think people we can use machine 85 to 90 percent looking backward. So you are in the forest, you are using the train or you are driving backward to the forest. That's why the, all the electrical switches and the screens and that kind of stuff is in the backside. But of course you can turn around your seat, then you will look forward, you don't have to turn around machine in the forest because it's pretty difficult. Because it's a anyway bigger machine. It's so much easier that's just to turn around your seat and then drive away from the forest. Or in the road when you are uh, unloading machine, you just go over there, you unload, then you turn around the seat and you go back to the forest. You don't have to turn around machine in the roads either. Yeah, yeah, I'm... This cabin is big enough this time. And it, it anyway, it fits over the machine, which is the other important thing. I start her up. This week she was in my container. I was thinking that I will have problems how to get her start up, but I was super surprised. I practically I did little load the battery. I don't even know what status must. And then I uh, little full inside. I turn on the English switch and I did drive her over here. Next I will disassemble her. I, the main reason is that actually I cannot have at the moment like the Kubota diesels. Those have so long delivery time that I have to use those components. And I actually also save money when I do that. I will not use everything, but I will use a lot of stuff from that machine. Yeah. 
this is now fourth gap in which I've been designed. Previous one was also a good one. The first two Megamax cabins I wasn't happy. The previous cabin was good. And now this is even better. I'm super happy. Of course, this is bigger machine than the previous machines. So that's why there is more room and I can make the bigger cabin and the peak is good with the cabins. Pe people are spending their hours inside that room. So it has to be nice for the operator. Yeah, I hope. Yeah. Uh, if you did like the video, please give thumb up. And if you want to follow how I build up the Megamax and other machines and my first live, and you haven't yet subscribed, please subs press subscribe. So we see in next video. Thanks a lot and bye.